Studying this simple ascending pattern could seriously help improve your understanding of music theory. Let's start off with a commonly played G minor 7 bar chord shape. We've got a root, a fifth, we've got our flat seventh, that's a minor seventh, and a minor third. Here's another fifth and a root. If we take that flat third and we go up to third, that is a G7 chord. Again, this is a commonly played shape. If we take this third up to a fourth, this is maybe not played as often, but a super great chord. This is a G7 sus4 chord, often called G7 sus. We can see here that there is no third, and this is a suspension. When we suspend the third note up to a fourth, that means it is a sus chord. There is no third. So go back, and here we've got a third. So this is obviously not a sus chord. There is no suspension. We're not sus suspending the third up or down, just a normal three note. And that makes a G7 chord. Let's lower this third down by one half step. That makes a minor third, and a minor third, and a minor seventh. That gives us a minor seventh chord. I hope this little bit of music theory has been helpful for you, and it helps you connect a few dots this is a lesson at guitarthicker.com and a quiz. There are many hundreds of lessons and quizzes for you to check out there. See you there.